for we were guessing that maybe 80 to 90 percent of this presidency could not have been anticipated by the best of advisors coming into office all of this has been handed to george w bush to deal with today included it, it certainly has brian i, I think he did uh, provide a moment of healing there for the families one certainly hopes that the entire service did i thought the president's remarks uh, about each of the astronauts coming on the heels of uh, uh, Captain Rominger's uh, uh, moving remarks about them. I thought those remarks were, uh, were particularly poignant and in his words to the children, uh, speaking to the, to the children of the, the, the astronauts, uh, especially moving. And, and as he left, one couldn't help also, and, and, and as he left and knowing that he's going now back to Washington, back to face the perils of uh, Iraq, the words that he spoke uh, uh, to here this, uh, today, I think, are particularly uh, worth remembering. He said, great endeavors are inseparable from great risks. And that president knows that so well now in, his, in this presidency, this very eventful presidency. With us from Orlando, Florida, Dr. Jerry Leninger, who was an astronaut, uh, followers of the, uh, the Mir space station, will remember Dr. Leninger as... Uh, uh, in part for his role in fighting the now famous fire on board Mir back in 97. Um, and, and doctor, I, I guess it was very important for the NASA community to hear the portion of the president's speech that dealt with uh, what David just mentioned, and that is continuing on and with bravery and sense of purpose going on about the space program. We will go forward, and uh, those are very encouraging words. Uh, I'll tell you, everyone in the space program has passion for what they do, and we need to move forward. And you need, we need to stand on the shoulders of those seven and push beyond that. And um, they'll be proud of us to do that. It was very important, I thought, so touching when the president uh, finished by offering the respect and faith of people of the United States to the survivors of the astronauts by comforting the children uh, they leave behind. Uh, we talk about NASA as a as a family. Perhaps you can expand on that. I, th I think Kent uh, Rominger uh, really summarized it there when, or not summarized, but talked about it so eloquently. They're normal people. They got kids. They have uh, great adventures in space, but primarily who's at 11. I want to do when I grow up. We've been told not to expect anything. In fact, because of today's memorial service, it is a space agency being looked at from all angles. It certainly is, Brian. As this service was going on, investigators from an independent board composed of aviation experts from the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy were arriving in East Texas to look at some of the shuttle debris. Uh, the chief of the shuttle program said yesterday there's some missing link out there, some piece of debris that may give them the key clue as to why the shuttle broke up. So that investigation will go on, and we will hear from NASA officials uh, later today uh, about the progress of that investigation. And uh, the, the investigation, even at this hour, is widening uh, out of the fields of East Texas, where the main debris is, into the adjoining states of New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Uh, because the theory now is that the shuttle began to break up as it was descending over California, and that those first pieces of the shuttle, perhaps the part of the insulating tiles, may hold the key to the eventual failure of the shuttle. Brian? David Gergen, back to the style of this president, uh, his personality. Uh, we've had presidents uh, so emotionless. Americans have complained they didn't feel any uh, connection with them. They didn't feel they were feeling the same things. And, and I guess uh, of all the things people will say about this president, he jokes that he inherited his dad's uh, uh, emotions, his father's unable to get through a reading of his own book, his letters home from World War II, without breaking down. This president appeared on the edge uh, today, as he often is. Well, he did, and uh, you know he was wiping away a tear at one point, and he passed his handkerchief uh, to to Mrs. Husband next next to him, I think, to uh, to help console her. 
Uh, there was grief written all over his face. Uh, it was an interesting mixture of grief and determination and resoluteness to go on. Uh, but one could, one could almost uh, read in his face his speech before he spoke it. And uh, Dr. Jerry Leninger, uh, who remains with us, you know, all we have to go on is uh, depictions in movies like The Right Stuff about the, the specter of death always hanging above those in this business. Uh, the families of astronauts, how are they different from the rest of us? I don't think they're all that different. Um, you know, they've got the same concerns that we all have. Uh, they know their husband or their wife is uh, in a risky occupation. I think they believe in it as, as firmly and as strongly as their spouse does. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're sort of willing to sacrifice their spouse for, for greater things. And um, they know you're, you're reaching for the heavens, and that's where you're going to be one way or another. And do you think, Doctor, that the President said what needed to be said today for the, the families and survivors? I think it was beautifully put. Um, you know, could not have, I can't add anything. Nobody can add anything. That, that touched everyone's heart. He spoke from the heart. Um, and, uh, you know, we got to rise up from this, as he said, and, and we're going to do it. And how have the, how you, looking at Neil Armstrong and John Glenn in the crowd, you reminded of what was admittedly a different era for this space program. It was all test pilots and jet jockeys, and, and today's astronaut is different. Many more physicians, scientists. How has that changed the dynamic of NASA from the days that predate your experience? I think in those days you had to have that tough guy image uh, that was part of being a test pilot and that was part of maybe that era. I think now, um, you know, you let your emotions down a little bit more and, and uh, we are human beings and we feel the same thing that everybody else feels. We are not all the right stuff. We have the same weaknesses, the same feelings, uh, the same concern for family. Um, you know, we're, we're part of the, the human being uh, that, that, they, that is on Earth all around us, we all feel the same way. We all have the same connections to our families. Um, you know, you can never change that. I think in the old days, though, they put on the veneer and, and tried to cover that up. I know Gus Grissom, before uh, his death in Apollo 1, had said that if I die, um, don't, don't dwell on it, move on, press on. Uh, it, the cause is worth it. And I think we all feel that but we're maybe a little bit more transparent in, in the, our humanness and the heart that we all have. David Gergen, uh, finally, what a strange week in America. The, the focus goes to the UN uh, tomorrow, and then uh, Thursday, the president will address the National Prayer Breakfast in Washington. It's always interesting remarks when any president goes there, as it was uh, during one of your bosses, Bill Clinton. Will the, will the media spotlight now follow all these events? Will this sadness be left behind, or will it color the rest of the week's events? I think it's going to color the rest of the week's events. Uh, Brian, I think, I think it's put a more somber tone on the week. I think it's, it, it has as, uh, it's deepened people's uh, a, a apprehensions uh, about what may lie in store, even as I think it has uh, increased our sense of patriotism uh, in the sense of wanting to belong to one family, to join together. So I, th I think there's going to be a tendency uh, to hug kids a little, uh, hug kids a little more closely this week, uh, and to uh, pray for the best. Our thanks to uh, correspondents uh, David Gregory, George Lewis, uh, David Gergen, a good friend of ours, and Dr. Jerry Leninger down in Florida. We uh, uh, so appreciate you, uh, all of you, joining us during our live coverage. Uh, Messrs. Buchanan and Press uh, will take over after a short break, and we want to thank you for being with us this emotional day here at the Johnson Space Center. Mem uh, 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 keeping in our memory the seven astronauts uh, lost in this terrible accident. The president is at today presiding over the memorial service. Our live coverage continues a 4.30 briefing this afternoon in Washington from NASA headquarters as well. For now, I'm Brian Williams, NBC News. Thank you for being with us.